Hello there, I'm Brad Barton and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, an extremely low-tech look at the 1.21 most interesting stories in geek pop culture today. This past weekend was a big one at the box office with two nerd-friendly films debuting in theaters, both to opening weekends of $50 million or more, which is only the fourth time that that has ever happened in box office history, so that's significant. Um, Coming in in second place with an estimated $50 million was Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, starring Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey, there we go, uh, Anne Hathaway, and Jessica Chastain. In first place with an estimated gross of $56.2 million was Big Hero 6, Disney's animated film based extremely loosely on the Marvel comic book of the same name. Now this is the film I caught and I can confirm that it's exciting, it's funny, it's touching, and it's a pretty good superhero movie, actually. Uh, it's got some DNA in it from the Iron Giant, How to Train Your Dragon, and any number of uh, Disney and Pixar films to date. Uh, and yes, Baymax, the big inflatable home healthcare robot who is soon zooming around into combat, steals the show, no question. Uh, in case you're wondering, there are Easter eggs, some of which feature some incredibly obscure Marvel Comics characters. And, I'm, and I mean, like, if you read the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, the whole series, um, you may, may have a shred of a chance at recognizing some of these uh, cameos. They're that obscure. Plus, the film has one of the best Stan Lee cameos I've ever seen, and if you're a comics fan and you don't stay for the post credit scene, you are missing out on something glorious. No more spoilers other than that. Two thumbs up. Either way, it's a very, very cool film. Um, according to The Wrap, uh, a very interesting cast may be coming together for Warner Brothers' Suicide Squad film based on the DC comic book. Allegedly, Tom Hardy, Will Smith, and Margot Robbie, uh, Robbie who you may recognize um, from The Wolf of Wall Street, are all in discussions to be part of the cast. Jesse Eisenberg is sounding more and more likely to appear in the film uh, as his DC film universe counterpart, uh, Lex Luthor, and on Friday came the news that the studio may be in discussions with Jared Leto to appear as the Joker. Well, that would be something. Adding credence to this is uh, Latino Review's claim that Warner Brothers is actively courting British model Cara Delevingne? Cara Delevingne? I can't pronounce any names correctly tonight. She's got a particularly tough one. Um, she's a British 22-year-old blonde model. That's all you need to know. Um, and they're allegedly talking to her to play Harley Quinn. So, where Harley Quinn goes, you get the idea. Um, keep in mind that all of this is rumor at this point, so I would be uh, curious to see um, Jared Leto's version of the Joker, actually, though. I kind of would like to see that happen. I think that could be cool. Perhaps we'll get that chance when Suicide Squad opens in August 2016. Suicide Squad will be directed by David Ayer, who has worked in a variety of capacities uh, creatively in Hollywood. For today's trivia question, I want you to name the 2001 film which won Denzel Washington an Academy Award, which David Ayer wrote and did stunts for. What? That's an interesting combination. The answer to Friday's trivia question was She-Hulk, and the first person with the correct response was Adam Haru of Reading, Massachusetts. Congratulations, Adam. You win a copy of Rush Limbaugh is a Big Fat Idiot, written by Al Franken before he was a senator. So as soon as you read this, you're going to be up on all the really good uh, political comedy from 1996. You're welcome. And that's it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this free bite-sized chunk of geekitude, please do share it with a nerdy friend and help spread the word. You can like the 1.21 Gigawatts Facebook page. You can leave comments on that page or in the comment section attached to this video. You can uh, subscribe to uh, my channel and never miss a nerdy second. Uh, and you can, if you want to, follow me on Twitter, where I'm at BradBarton72. Otherwise, I will see you on Wednesday for more 1.21 gigawatts. Bye-bye, everybody.